is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Super Showdown 2020 predictions. The show takes place tomorrow in Saudi Arabia. Let's get right into the first match. Okay guys, so coming up first is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between The New Day and Miz and Morrison. Now, Miz and Morrison have just reformed their tag team. John Morrison has just returned to WWE. In my opinion, a very, very wasted return. It has not lived up to expectations. Since I was a kid, I've been wanting John Morrison to return. He was one of my favourites when I first got into WWE. And I am disappointed with his return. Now, John Morrison's in-ring ability, everything, it's all fantastic. But I always imagined him returning in the Royal Rumble hearing his music, watching him come down. So they spoiled that initially by having him debut backstage, uh, or re-debut, I should say, return. Then in the Rumble, he got squashed by Brock, which is never good. They reformed him in a tag team with Miz, and I think WWE knows they messed up with the John Morrison return. So in my opinion, I think that John Morrison and The Miz are going to beat The New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Moving on. Okay, guys, so the next match is the To Wake, to wake Trophy, I think. And it is AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio versus Bobby Lashley versus Andrade versus Eric Rowan versus R-Truth versus... Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't care. Don't care at all. Uh, AJ Styles is winning, in my opinion. AJ Styles or Rey Mysterio um, or Bobby Lashley. No, I'm going with AJ Styles. AJ Styles to win. Um, and there has been rumours of a Taker return. Taker and Styles meant to be facing him at Mania, there's rumours of. So, you know, could get an Undertaker attack during or after the match. We shall see. But AJ Styles to win the trophy. Next up is Reigns versus Corbin. I don't give a shit. Reigns is winning. Okay, so next up we have... Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah, and his disciple Murphy, the Raw Tag Team Champions, taking on the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Now, a thing that has been pointed out, well, it hasn't been pointed out, I've just noticed it. Murphy hasn't won a single match without Seth's help. So, it even goes back to like this week on Raw. Seth broke up the pinfall, Murphy was losing, uh, but before that, every time Murphy's won, it's been on Seth's help. So... I don't think anything's going to happen here, but I am calling it for the future. Um, when they lose the Raw Tag Team Championships, I think Seth's going to turn on Murphy and we get a Buddy Murphy face turn. Or I should just say Murphy, not Buddy Murphy. But for now, I think that Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy... Ah, oh, I, I said it again. Seth Rollins and Murphy, just Murphy, are going to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. I hope that um, the Street Profits don't get taken into like a jokey character like Enzo and Cass do. Uh, did, sorry. But... At the same time, it's they've just been crowned as champs. And I don't think the Street Profits were the right pick to go for them here. Uh, I think they should have been saved for a later date. Because I do think the Street Profits should take the titles from them. Just not on this show. So I'm going with Murphy and Rollins to retain. Okay, so next up is the second women's match ever in Saudi Arabia. The SmackDown Women's Championship between Bayley and Naomi. I am so bored of Bailey's SmackDown Championship women's reign. I said that completely wrong, but I'm so bored of her title reign. They keep saying it's like history making. It's not. She lost the belt at Hell in a Cell to Charlotte and won it back. But WWE are like trying to make us think that this has all been one reign from like Money in the Bank to now, which it hasn't been. But either way, I think, you know, it's in Saudi Arabia. It's the second women's match. Got to do something historic. Naomi's winning. And hopefully... Hopefully we get back her GLOW Championship. If you guys remember the GLOW belt from 2017, really nice title and uh, I'd like to see that again. I don't know why they scrapped the Carmella match. Initially, Bailey versus Naomi was planned for WrestleMania. Unless the WrestleMania card is too stacked and they've got too much and they're going to leave off the, um, the SmackDown Women's Championship and just use it here. I don't know, but I think Naomi's going to win. Next up, guys, is the WWE Championship match between Ricochet, WWE's resident superhero, and the beast incarnate, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. Now, is there any chance at WrestleMania it's going to be Ricochet versus Drew? Absolutely. I think 100% Ricochet is going to beat... I'm joking. Brock Lesnar is going to destroy him. 
Um, I think this is going to be a really entertaining match to watch because hopefully Brock Lesnar can throw Ricochet around like a rag doll and Ricochet can do some awesome selling for Brock. Um, but at the end of the day, there's no chance in hell that Ricochet is walking out with this WWE title. Not yet anyway. I think eventually he will be a future WWE champ. But it's definitely going to be Brock versus Drew at WrestleMania. Um, and even if Ricochet was to win, it would be a triple threat, surely. But no, I'm going with Brock Lesnar to win. Let's move on to the main event. Okay, so the main event of Super Showdown, I am panicking about quite a bit. Right, so initially, rumoured from the very beginning, it was meant to be Reigns versus Fiend at WrestleMania. That's what it was always going to be since Roman returned, since the Fiend returned. It was going to build up Roman's big payoff, winning the Universal title back, the title he never lost against WWE's brand new force of evil. But apparently, and I don't know how accurate this is, but... The rumour mill states that Vince isn't apparently not as high on that match as he was. And I know for one, I would love to see Goldberg versus Reigns. But at the same time, I don't want to see Goldberg win the Universal Championship. So it's The Fiend versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship. Most likely going to close out the show. And I'm panicking. I am really panicking. I want The Fiend to win. I'm predicting The Fiend to retain. I am going to predict The Fiend to retain. But... At the same time, you've got to think of it from a like a booking standpoint. If the if Roman Reigns, who's just been cheered again, beats the Fiend at WrestleMania, are the crowd gonna once again turn on Roman? Whereas if Goldberg beats the Fiend, they're gonna turn on Goldberg and then cheer Roman beating Goldberg at WrestleMania. But I don't know if Goldberg's even scheduled for WrestleMania and I don't know, it's all so confusing, but I still think that it's gonna be um, the Fiend versus Roman at Mania. So having said that, I'm predicting The Fiend to win, but I'm not going to be surprised. I'll be disappointed, but I won't be surprised if Goldberg wins the title and squashes WWE's new star. But hey, that's just me. This has been my Super Showdown predictions. Let me know what in the comment section down below what you guys think is going to happen. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I will be watching live Super Showdown and I will be making some reaction videos. I don't know what matches to yet, but there will be some. Anyways, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.